What's going on everyone? Today we're gonna to go through five lower back stretches just to help loosen your lower back up. If you've got any lower back pain, these stretches are really good. If you've been sitting down a lot, these stretches are gonna be good to just help loosen up your lower back, get rid of some of that tension in your lower back and hopefully make every day a little bit easier for you, okay? First off guys, first stretch we're gonna do is try and actually loosen up the hamstrings because I find a lot of the time if people have sore lower backs, it actually means that they have really tight hamstrings. So we're gonna try and stretch the, the back of your legs to start off with, okay? We're gonna go one leg forward like this, hands reaching forward, okay? And just holding it there, trying to reach forward as far as you can. We wanna hold each stretch for at least 30 seconds. We're gonna do between 30 seconds to a minute for each stretch, okay? And just slowly extending the stretch. So take a big breath in, as you breathe out, reach your fingers forward a little bit, okay? I'm just gonna hold it there again. And just focus on the back of your leg, really stretching and relaxing, okay? We don't just wanna go through the motions of this, we wanna make sure that we're actually feeling it in the right muscles. Deep breath in, breathing out, reaching forward. Okay, so I can really feel this in the back of my leg, sort of from the start of my glute down to uh, my knee, back of my knee. Slowly relaxing, okay? You wanna hold it for at least 30 seconds. If you're feeling really tight, you can hold it for a minute or even longer. We're gonna do the same on the other side. All right, so another 30 seconds. As you can see, my flexibility is not very good, so it's why I need to do more stretches. Luckily, I don't suffer from lower back pain too much though. So just reaching forward like this. Again, we're gonna hold it for another 30 seconds. Make sure you're holding this with me. Big breath in, and as you breathe out, just reaching forward again, and just really focus on the back of your leg, relaxing, okay? So the more we can uh, stretch out our hamstrings, the less pressure there's gonna be on the lower back, and in turn, that will help lower back pain, okay? So just hold this one for 30 seconds as well, trying to relax your back, relax your legs. Just hold it there, slowly reaching forward, making sure you're not holding your breath. Like that, okay. Next up, we're gonna lie on our back. We're gonna stretch our glutes out, okay? Because again, with lower back pain, generally, that will come from having tight glutes as well. So we're gonna sit down like this, lie down, have your leg over your knee. We're gonna reach through the middle, grab onto the front of your leg here, and then just relax your head back like this. And you should uh, feel this stretching just through here, just through your arm, um, through your glute on, on that leg that's uh, crossed over the body. All right, and again, we're gonna just breathe in. And as you breathe out, slowly focus on that muscle relaxing. So just really focus on that muscle relaxing, okay? Again, before you do these stretches, you do wanna make sure that your body is warm. You're not doing these stretches while you're really cold. Because it's not a good idea to do static stretches like this while you're cold because if you push it too far, you can actually tear the muscles and it's not very good for you. So you wanna make sure you've warmed up um, before you've done these stretches. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds, like so, and we're just gonna swap over, same onto the other leg. So hands through the middle, like this, and just relaxing back. Head resting on the ground. If you can't rest your head on the ground, you can keep it up like this. That makes the stretch a little bit easier. If you want to extend it though, lying flat like this, okay? And just breathe through it, trying to relax that leg. Focus on your glute stretching out, okay? I'm gonna hold this side for 30 seconds as well. Really focus on that relaxing. Nice, all right. Next up, we're gonna stretch out. So we stretch the hamstrings and glutes. Now we're gonna stretch out through your hip flexor as well. Because Again, everything's connected in your lower body like this. So we wanna make sure that your hip flexors are loose as well. So we're gonna go up on one leg like this. Bring that knee back, keep your body straight. You actually wanna lean backwards while you're pushing your hip forward. And you should feel it just in the top, right here, just in the top of your leg, in that hip flexor muscle, top of your quad. And um, again, this is all connected with your lower back. So. If these muscles are tight, this can lead to lower back pain as well. If you want to make the stretch harder, you can tense your glute. And tensing your glute will push your hip forward and that will 
help stretch out the front here as well. So just holding it there. Again, big breath in. And as you breathe out, you can kind of lean into it. So you push the leg down, but you almost want to lean back. Okay, keep that glute engaged. And really feel the stretching through the front of the leg. <laughs> Try and stay balanced. Alright, just holding it there for 30 seconds. Okay, we're going to do the same over on the other side. Other leg forward. Okay, leaning back, pushing the hip forward. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel tighter on this side, for sure. I think my less uh, dominant leg feels a lot tighter with these exercises. Um, just means I need to stretch it out more. Okay, just hold it there. You should really feel it at the top of the leg. I know we've done three stretches now, and none of them have actually been targeting your lower back, but these three stretches will help relieve that lower back pain because it could be that you glute your hamstrings or your hip flexors is what's causing your lower back pain. If you're doing a lot of sitting down at work or you're doing a lot of driving, these things all lead to, can lead to the lower back pain. So hold it there for 30 seconds. Next up, we're gonna go lying on the back. We're gonna do a couple of variations of this stretch, which will actually help stretch your lower back. So we're gonna go arms out to the side, leg up on top, and just drop it down to the side Keeping your shoulders on the ground, keeping those knees both bent like so. Arms out straight. And I don't know about you, but I can really feel this just almost through my lower back and the side of my body, my obliques. And um, just be careful with this one. Okay, if you've got any spinal injuries or anything, just be careful with this. Maybe check with your doctor before you do this one, just because you are twisting your spine a bit. Just trying to relax. It's a good one for stretching out through your, your chest as well, having your arms out like this. If you're at a computer all the time, it's probably good to stretch out your chest. You want to hold this for 30 seconds. Just feel it relax. Okay. That's good. And focus on your breathing and keep that breathing up. All right, we're going to come back into the middle. Same on the other side, so hands out straight like this. Leg across, and then that leg which is across, we're going to drop to the side like so. Okay, just focusing on your lower back. I feel like I need to bend my um, my leg, this, this leg here a bit more sometimes just to help stretch my lower back a bit more. All right, and just holding it there, we want to hold it again for 30 seconds. And just breathe, breathe through it. When you breathe out, it really helps your muscles relax. So just focus on that breathing. And really try and focus on relaxing the muscles you're trying to stretch. You don't want to resist the stretch, you want to go with it. All right, we'll come back into the middle. We're going to do a slight variation of the same stretch, okay? So still lying down with your arms out. Okay, we're going to go one leg over. So same position you're in just before. Instead of dropping that way with the knee, we're going to drop the opposite way and go like this, okay? And doing this one, doing it this way as opposed to the other way, I feel it more in the top of my glute, um, okay? Sort of uh, not as high up, more in the glute, but I feel this one stretching more personally, probably if I've got tight, tight glutes. But I think this is another great variation, okay? Almost exactly the same as the other one, but instead of dropping um, to the other side, we're dropping to this side, and then when I have the other leg up, I'm gonna drop to the other side. So, if you look through the video, you know what I, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. And just holding it there, feel those muscles relaxing. Breathe into it. That's good. And these stretches, um, if you do have lower back pain, to do all of them, it's going to take you know ten minutes or so. You can do them all every morning or every night. Um, it'd be a great habit to get into, and the more consistent you are with it, the more the muscles are really going to uh, loosen up. Um, again, as I said before though, just make sure that your muscles are somewhat warm before you do these static stretches, just so you don't, um, you don't pull any muscles. So, other leg up, instead of dropping to that side, we're just going to drop across to this side, okay? That's good. And again, I can feel that sort of at the top of my glute, lower back, and just breathe. Breathe through it. Try and relax. Focus on relaxing. 
excursion. So this is the um, this is the last lower back stretch we're going to do today. So it's basically just five different stretches that we're doing. We're isolating one side at a time. Um, the reason for doing that is just so we can really focus on each uh, each side of the body individually. Okay, and um, if one side is tighter than the other, it allows us to try and really target that one side. All right, and um, if you can stretch all these muscles out, it's gonna really help with the lower back because like I said, even though there's only a couple which are really targeting the lower back, all the other stretches are gonna help release tension in your lower back anyway. All right. So that's it guys. Should only take about 10 minutes. If you've got any questions about any of these stretches, just comment below and I'll be happy to help out. Thanks.